Hi Allure, I'm Joey King and today I'm going to be doing my simple 10 minute beauty routine for you. So let's get to it. So my first thing that I do is, I think it's the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. Obviously I have used this a lot and the label has rubbed off, but this is one of my favorite products. So I kind of just get it all over, just like haphazardly paint my face. I know it's probably not really good for your skin because you're supposed to use clean stuff, but I use uh, a drugstore sponge. I probably don't replace them as much as I should. So the reason I use a, like a drugstore makeup sponge instead of a beauty blender is because like, I feel like it does the same thing. Ooh, I know people are gonna come for me at that and I know it's different. I know beauty blender is better for your skin and has like superpowers and stuff, but I find that this triangle um, has worked for me since I was 13 years old. So I'm like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So next what I do is I'm going to grab my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation, powder foundation. I just use the sponge that comes with it and I just put that right on top of that Pro Filter. I mean, the, the Hollywood Flawless Filter stuff. There's so many filter names. Anyway, so I put this on, it just, provides a little bit more coverage and takes down the dewiness that the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Filter uh, adds. So it's just like balances it out a little bit more, which is really nice. Okay, now that the skin is prepped and ready, I'm just confused by myself sometimes because I usually start with eyes, but I got excited, so I started with skin. But it doesn't matter, you can do whatever you wanna do. So what I do to prime my eyes is I use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This has been a beauty staple for years. And it's one of those products where it's just like, it was iconic when it came out and it's iconic to this day. It's just works so well. And so what I do is I put a little bit on my fingers. I just dab it on my eyes. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my brush, a fluffy brush. Any kind of fluffy brush is what I like to use. And then I'm gonna grab my Lorac Los Angeles Mega 3 Pro Palette, which as you can tell, has been given a lot of TLC throughout its life. I'm gonna go in with the shade Pecan. I think that's a great shade for my skin tone to kind of just like set, I'm gonna look at the mirror, set a base like pinky, but not too pink tone. And I'm just gonna, you know, fling my wrist around and hope to God it covers my eyelid. I'm gonna do that on both sides, just like so. Hey, how you doing? Is it weird for me to look at you with one eye? A little bit, I don't know. Okay, that looks great to me. I look amazing, I look like a supermodel. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker tone. I kind of switch it up sometimes if I'm feeling really sexy, I'll go with hickory, but today I'm feeling a little natural, so I'm gonna go with walnut which is right next to pecan. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of violet gray. I mix those two, and I'm just gonna put that right in my crease. And that just adds a nice, just like shadow. But I also think it opens up my eyes a little bit, so that's lovely. See, this is looking like, this is looking fab. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna improvise a little bit here. I'm going to take, am I gonna do that? No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to just blow on this brush and not clean it, even though it has dark eyeshadow on it. I'm gonna use that same brush to go with a lighter tone. Something with a little shimmer. Um, I love a shimmer. I think a lot of people know that about me, but I can't say no to a shimmer. So I'm gonna go in here with the shades. I'm gonna go with Tool mixed with a little bit of Snow. And I'm just gonna put that on the I don't know, the nucleus of my eyelid. I don't know what this part of your eyelid's called, but the big part. I think that looks pretty damn good. So now what I'm gonna do is, cause I just wanna draw the eyes out a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with the shade Vintage. And I'm just gonna kinda just carry out the dark shadow a little bit more, just so it has like more of a de defined look. I'm gonna close up the eyeshadow and I'm gonna go in for my eyeliner and I'm gonna use Whiskey by Urban Decay, their 24 seven glide on eye pencil. This is like my favorite brown. I usually use brown eyeliner instead of black. I just think when you have blue eyes, I think brown complements blue eyes better than uh, black eyeliner does. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I use Thrive Cosmetics and I use the shade Audrey. Before I do that, I'm gonna go and just brush my eyebrows up with a brow brush by Doll 10. And my goal is not to make my eyebrows like a different shape. Like they're supposed to be, what, what is it? Cousins, not sisters? I don't know. And it just kind of adds more of a dimension to your brows. And on top of that, they stay pushed up throughout the day because there's a gel in there. Oh, that looks pretty good. So brows are feeling good. I'm just having fun here. So what am I gonna do next? I think I'm gonna go, should I go concealer next? Yeah, let's go concealer next. I really love this concealer. It's by Doll 10. So I'm gonna just put it, a dab of it directly onto my beauty sponge. I'm gonna, you know, I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna blend it. A little bit goes a long way with this concealer. And so just like making sure you blend is always very important. We don't want any lines. We don't want to look like our under eyes are like 14 shades lighter than our skin, even though I don't know if that's possible because I look very pale. Now that that's over, let's go with some blush. I'm going to do some blush. And this palette is called Complex Culture Good Glow Blush Duo. And I just kind of dab in both. It's super like What's that word when color is very bright? Not potent. Pigmented, it's super pigmented. So, you know, apply with caution. I'm just gonna like dab it on. See that? That's just like so intense, but it's also really, really pretty. And then I saw this like trick, but I don't really know if I like it yet, where like some, like to make it look like you've got a little tan or a cute little sunburn. I, I've seen girls like carry over the blush a little bit in a subtle way. I've tried it a couple of times and I think I like it, but I'm also still undecided on it. Should I do it today? Yeah, I'll do it today. Why not? Life is about taking chances with blush, even if it doesn't work out in your favor. I don't know. This is, I'm committing here. This is a big deal. Like, is it gonna make me look like Rudolph or is it gonna make me look like I just had a little 20 minutes outside? I think I hate it. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with my sponge and go like that to my nose and fix what I just, did. Made a grave mistake here. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour. Not too much though. I'm gonna go in with this Lorac Contour Pro palette. And I'm gonna use the lightest color they have, which is light, it's called light contour. So I'm just gonna do a little dab of that. A little bit on the cheeks, a little bit on the forehead. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my lashes with the Shu Yumura eyelash curler. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but this is my favorite eyelash curler in the world. Now uh, we're gonna put some mascara on. This is a Lancome Lash Doce mascara. So we're gonna, we're gonna just slap that on these puppies. I'm gonna go put on some highlight now because I wanna be glowy and I wanna be Sparkly, I don't wanna be cute. I'm gonna go in with my Lorax Luxe Diamond Golden Hour Palette. As you can tell, I really love Lorax. And so what I do is I take my brush and I just sweep it over the whole thing. And I go like that. And it's just like, damn, look at her cheeks, I'm blinding, they're so bright. Again, it's like, why would you choose one color when you can have all of them? That's how I feel. I'm gonna dip my pinky in whichever one and then just do a little bit on my upper lip. I don't know why I do this. I've just seen people do it before and I think it looks good. Remember that viral Instagram look that that girl did where it was just highlight? No? Well, I do. It looked amazing. You guys, I think we're coming to a close here. All I need to do is put some lips on and I'm done. I brought a couple lip options with me, but I'm gonna put on what I've been obsessed with right now that feels like the most spring, like fun, light, kind of makes any look just look hot to me. <laughs> Whatever. And cute at the same time. So this is a lipstick from And Other Stories and I think the name of it is Bisu I don't know if you said that right. It looks very red and I'm not really a red lip lady. I don't think it looks very good on me, but it's more like a stain and like kind of just tints my lips red and kind of more orangey. And I think orange is like a really nice color on my skin. And then to tie it all off and finish everything off, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and give my face 
a good old spritz. This is my travel size one, so I can take it on the plane with me. Um, and I'm gonna give my face a spritz and then my makeup's gonna last all day and all night. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna look like a shiny monster for a minute. And that completes my beauty routine. Thank you so much, Allure, for following me along with my 10 minute beauty routine. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, well, I'm very sorry. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>